All right, so for this week's Conversion Corner, we're going to talk about converting the unconverted. So we all know that uh, most of us have a online process that involves uh, getting a customer's contact information, right? We all want to sell something, obviously. Whether we're selling a product or a service, we're selling something to the customer. And traditionally what happens in uh, what we'll call short-sighted marketing is that uh, folks will look at the uh, conversion ratio at day zero, which is the first point of contact, and let's say this is my conversion rate. Now that is a, a very, uh, as we've mentioned, a short-sighted and a very um, big mistake when it comes to marketing and advertising your product or service. Uh, the reason for this is you are not looking at the unconverted. Uh, the biggest thing you can do for your business is to say, hey, you know what, I need to convert, uh, let's just say as an example, you converted 2% on land to a sale. That means 98% of the customers that came to your website did not convert. That's the unconverted we're speaking about. Of that 98%, many of you guys have a front end lead uh, funnel where you're collecting an email address at the first point, right? First point of contact, day zero. Usually you'll get anywhere from 15 to 25% conversion ratio in cold markets. If you're in a hot market where you're doing warm referrals, that can be anywhere from 40 to 75%. We'll make the mistake of thinking that we need to convert as many people at day zero to a lead. And then we'll make the second mistake of thinking we need to convert those leads all into sales at day zero. Now what I'm gonna challenge you to do is look at how to convert the unconverted in and how to convert the converted into cash. So what you need to do is be looking at your LTV, your lifetime value, and that is the dollar amount generated by each of your customers or leads as they come through the system. The easiest way to do this is to look at your value per land or your VPL. So, uh, well, also referred to as value per lead and VPL. These acronyms get a little crazy depending on who you talk to. But the point is, when you look at how many times your page is loaded and the subsequent value of each of those page loads, that will give you the amount of value per page. So it doesn't mean, what, what I'm saying is, you don't need to look at how many of the, what was your uh, conversion ratio to leads and then what was your conversion ratio to sale. You look at what was the overall value each time that page was displayed. Hopefully that reframe will help you to understand what's important in the future, which isn't how many leads did you get, it isn't how many sales you got, it's how many sales you got to how many uh, landing page views you got. So, back to the unconverted. Now, the reason I mentioned that uh, the v value per page load to begin with, or the value per land, um, is that when you look at these things, you don't have to collect all the email address up front. It's better if you collect a good percentage, but it's better, even better, if you're, uh, front end face is a trustworthy face, meaning you're not attempting to con everyone into giving you all their information. You don't trap them into giving you all their information. You're happy with a 15 or 20% conversion ratio to a lead. You don't need to get 35% in order for you to feel or be a man or be the man, whatever you, however you want to look at it. What's most important is what is your long-term value? So if you're, if you're looking at it on the longer tail side, you end up converting the unconverted. Meaning, if I didn't force you to give me your email address on day one, and I, or day zero, excuse me, and I set up a retargeting campaign that showed you all the social proof of why I am what I say I am, I proved to you that I'm an ethical, moral, and good human being, then it is more likely that you're gonna give me more money in the future versus less money now. You'd be much happier to build a better relationship. So, the, 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 what, the point I'm getting at, again, is the key thing to converting the unconverted is trust. It is the single most uh, valuable and uh, overlooked uh, tool in converting the unconverted. How can you build the trust? Well, how do we build trust as human beings with one another? The first way we build trust is through a connection and an understanding of one another. If you see someone and you don't understand where they're coming from, you don't understand their perspective, or you appear to not uh, understand them, then it's impossible for that trust to be created. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to segment out your list. If you're creating autoresponder lists or if you're creating uh, uh, retargeting lists, for you to create different languaging based off of my specific need or my specific industry or my specific stage of life, whatever thing you're going to use to focus on, focus on one at a time and build out, oops, all these messages came up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> build out. I'm using an iPhone to record these, by the way. Um, build out your sequence and your funnel 
uh, so that you are building the best trust and connection possible by having something that is exactly for my needs. Do not, you may think that by collecting 35% and then marketing them all the same, you're gonna end up with a better median conversion ratio. You're not. You're gonna end up with a much better conversion ratio if you take 10% of your audience and then talk to that 10% in the right way. And then talk to the next 10% in the right way once you have the first 10% down. Don't feel like you have to attack them all at once. Focus on where your highest value customers are first and then move from there. So in other words, go back, do your data analysis of all of your customers in your database. If you don't have any information, then pull your customers. What industry are you in? How much do you make per year? Blah, blah, blah. Find out where you want to build that initial connection for the front end of your list and then start there. And that's how, you're gonna, that's how you will end up converting the unconverted is by number one, building the trust. Number two, building the connection, however you choose to create that connection. And then number three, maintaining the conversation so you're front of mind, which means um, emailing them, talking to them through banners or retargeting or whatever else. Just keep in mind one thing. Don't say the same thing repeatedly. This is the number one retargeting mistake. Everyone throws together a retargeting campaign. I know that I already have another video on retargeting, but this is important. Uh, everyone will throw up a retargeting campaign and think, man, I, I, I've got that up there. We got five banners up. That's stupid and you're not doing it right. Okay? You need to have a lot of different banners for each of the different segments. The same way you would not send an email, the exact same email every day, um, don't do that with retargeting either. Okay? Use the opportunities that you have in front of you to be able to tr prove that you care and to be able to show that you have value. And then they'll all be happy to give you drones and drones of money. All right? Okay, so hopefully that helps you uh, a little bit today. Uh, hopefully you got some good notes. Please leave some comments on what you think are the top uh, pieces you would pull from this and how you're going to implement them right away. Okay? All right, guys. Have a great day.